Hi, Mark. Um, how are you doing? Hi, everybody. I'm doing yeah. uh, fine, given the circumstances. <laughs> uh, how is how is Corona affecting you on 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 a personal level? Um, it's uh, of course it's tough times, and especially for 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 Italians, uh, it's a very hard hit, and uh, definitely up up north where the where there are devastating uh, things going on with uh, around Bergamo, where 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 there's a huge amount of of dead uh, people, and and there's no space anymore for them in the in the uh, on the yeah how you say that on the uh, crematoria, how you say that in English. So the, it's it's really a terrible situation. But I must say here in, in Sicily, uh, I have the feeling it's pretty much in control still. So um, luckily uh, here in the south, uh, uh, the the situation is not as bad as uh, as up north. And what do you have to do uh, for yourself? Do you have to stay inside? Um, yes, we uh, we have to stay inside. Uh, first, we we still were able to do some some sport activities outdoors, but that's not allowed anymore because some people was, were taking advantage of it and uh, to socialize. And uh, the things that are still allowed is, for example, going to a supermarket, to the bank, to the post office. But you can only leave the house if you have a document with you and. Uh, you have to fill it in uh, day by day, and and the, the you have to write down the purpose why you are uh, going around. So if the police stops you, you have to show them, and then it's okay. But in the, the beginning, there was many people going around without this document, and they got uh, pretty big uh, fines. So I think nowadays, uh, the, the, recently the last few days, people are more uh, respecting these these rules. And how is uh, this situation affecting the the writing and the recording of the new Epica album? Yeah, that's uh, also affecting it because uh, Simone and I, we would normally be now in the studio uh, recording uh, this album vocal, uh, vocal wise. And that's not going to happen because uh, I simply cannot even go to the studio. And uh, for Simone, uh, it's also too risky to make such a travel. And uh, so we decided that I record at home. And luckily, I have a home studio and uh, a recording booth, uh, which is actually a walk in closet that works as a, <laughs> as a, a vocal booth. Um, so, yeah, I, I, and I also, uh, luckily enough, I got new equipment like half a year ago, or not even like three months ago. So, yeah, I'm in a fortunate situation that. I can do the recordings at home, but it's it's not an ideal situation, of course, because uh, I like working with the producer one one on one, and uh, he always gives some great advice. But we found a way that I record everything, I send the stuff over, and then he gives his comments, and I do a second round. So like this, it works pretty much the same as being in the studio. And the advantage is I can record whenever I feel uh, good. So whenever the voice is the best, and usually that's uh, in the evening. So I you uh, I record all the stuff uh, in the evening hours. And this is for you. Um, do you think it will it will delay the actual release of the album? It could. Uh, we we still have to see what uh, what what what's going to happen. I have the feeling that Nuclear Blast is anyway uh, putting a lot of releases already later. So there's a there's a big chance that uh, it will affect the release date of the album. Unfortunately, yes, yes. Because now it's scheduled for September. I, I heard. Yeah. What do you What do you think? In 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 well, uh, realistically, what what do you expect? Yeah, I leave that up to, to to our manager to to talk to Nuclear Blast and uh, and see what what the possibilities are. I have no idea. I hope that the, the if there is a delay, that the delay will be as small as possible. But uh, it depends also on how long this uh, Corona situation is gonna take. If this goes on for for months and months, then it will not make sense to release an album in September if, if by then it's still not solved because people are. Yeah, doing different things. So first of all, health is is the most important thing in life. So we will see well, how it will develop, and then we will uh, make a decision also based on 
on that. Yeah. Um, the Elm, has it been totally re uh, written already? Yeah, actually, it's almost pretty much recorded already. Only the the me and Simone are missing. So my vocals yeah. and Simone's vocals. That's that's all. We we have recorded guitar, bass, drums, uh, keyboards, uh, orchestra, um, choir. So everything basically has been recorded, just for these last two things. But uh, yeah, the the vocals are not the the least uh, important thing <laughs> of an album. So. An album without Simone would uh, would not be an option. That's great. That's true. Um, what can you tell about the um, the direction, the musical direction, or the th themes of the album? What what is musical? What 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 are what are you heading in? Um, I so think yeah, I, by, because yeah, some some fans asked me the same question, so I had already some time to think about it. And if I would have to say in what direction, I would say it, it's like in between design and universe and the quantum enigma, that kind of direction. Of course, we always try also to integrate some some new stuff, and uh, uh, we try to uh, aim uh, for uh, some really catchy choruses. Uh, yeah, because we in, in the in the sense like. When you have Beyond the Matrix, Cry for the Moon, people really love to hear these songs on uh, on festivals, for example. So we try to write a bit in that direction, but also without losing the heaviness. Yeah. And um, you say new elements. Can you maybe is there one new element that you already can 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 tell us? Yeah, we have a very nice uh, guest vocalist. I I cannot uh, announce the name yet, but uh, he has. Uh, some uh, Arabic influences. Okay, well, looking forward to it then. Um, album title, I don't know. I, I don't think you can you can you can say it already. But but um... no, maybe we even change it. We we yeah with this new situation. Uh, maybe we make a more actual album title. We don't know yet. We have to discuss that. We so it's not one hundred percent sure yet. And uh, lyrical uh, lyrical themes. What what subject do you Touch upon. Yeah, I'm talking about uh, many spiritual topics, like I usually do, at least for the last uh, three albums. Uh, so it goes again in this direction. I uh, I really love uh, watch uh, Gaia TV, which is like a Netflix for uh, spiritual and and science. Uh, so I'm watching hours and hours of of Gaia stuff, and especially now that I have to stay at home uh, even more. <laughs> And uh, so there's quite some lyrics uh, in, in that direction. It's, uh, uh, I cannot say too much about it yet, and uh, because I also am still recording, so still here and there, even some some minor things can can change. But uh, I'm I'm really happy with the, the outcome so far, the results, and uh, I think uh, people are gonna have a good time with the. Because there's always a, a, a small group of people who are really diving deep into the lyrics, and I think they I, they have a, they're going to have a good time. That's good. Um, is there is there a lesson, if we can say so? Is is there a lesson that 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 we can learn from what is happening now with with the coronavirus? Oh, I think there's going to be many lessons that we can learn from this. Uh, first of all, we we see that the the air pollution is is dissolving in many places in the world already. Um, that that's already a big lesson we can learn. We a second lesson is uh, before this happened, we were really on a dead end road. Now the economy basically is stopping. Uh, we we can see what kind of results this this will have, and we should make sure that we don't go on exactly the way we were uh, dealing with the whole situation before, because like we were kicking the can all the time and. Like, okay, a future generation has to deal with all this stuff. We cannot do that any longer. We ourselves have to deal with all the stuff because uh, it was really going to the wrong direction, I think, the, the whole world. And also, I think that the financial system will get a, a kind of uh, huge kick in the, in the back. I have no idea what exactly is going to happen yet because already in 2008, when the house market crashed, I've 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 heard, uh, read uh, uh, articles that uh, that we were really close to a big economic crisis because of that, and it 
uh, yeah, it almost happened, but it, we just made it through. And I wouldn't be surprised if this time we will end up in this big crisis. And when there's a crisis, then we have to reinvent the wheel again. And that can be positive. But also with the with the current economic situation, it's it's yeah you it, it doesn't work anymore. There's some countries and not the, the smallest countries in the world who have such big debts they can never pay it anymore. You will not never be able to pay it, and there has sooner or later there had to be a, pro, a solution for the problem anyway. So I think this this crisis of Corona will lead to many more crises, which will lead to a completely new system. And I'm really, uh, at one side, I'm a bit scared about it because, yeah, you, nobody knows what's going to happen. But at the other hand, I'm also optimistic that this will bring a lot of opportunities. And actually, my optimism is bigger than my fear. So yeah. I'm, I'm really curious how this will develop and how we ourselves can uh, contribute to that. What do you think? Because now it's all based on, on it's more uh, economic capitalistic driven it's all about money and 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 so that's 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 the way how you um well um what is the goal for people to work what do you think what what will happen what new kind of set of beliefs or uh, values will will uh, will come from this yeah that's that's hard to tell we will first have to see how this how big this corona thing is going to be if, if this is only the beginning and, and this will become huge, that will be a completely different outcome than if, if it, uh, yeah, it's, we're already close to, to its peak. So it, uh, if you ask me in, in two more, more months, I will have a way more clear answer to that. Uh, yeah. now, for now, I'm as curious as you are what to what's yeah. actually going to happen. And uh, I'm really sad about all the families that will lose a family member in these times and at the other hand i really hope that whatever happens it will result at least into something positive yeah uh, last question now um touring wise what uh, what is the what is the effect that this ha has for epica um also this i hope uh, that it's the effect of uh, it doesn't affect us too much but uh my my intuition says that it will uh, have a, a long-term uh, negative effect on our touring schedule. Um, let's hope it's not true and that I'm wrong. But uh, uh, I'm I'm even not sure if the, the the tour at the end of the year will take place the way it uh, it's scheduled. So I'm already thinking about November December how it can affect us uh, even till there. Because what if I listen to the to the scientists who are so much into this this virus and they say this is going to be a, a matter of of many months before we uh, get out of this and to have a cure will also take at least one year to one and a half year. So you, everybody can imagine what that what results it can uh, what damage it can do in the meantime. Okay, so. Like you were saying, 2021 is is more more of a, uh, a sure year for you if it comes to uh, touring. This year, you just have to wait and see what happens. Yeah, I'm I'm also optimistic about the the, the end of the year shows, but uh, so. but I uh, I keep all options open. I'm I'm a realistic guy and uh, not a dreamer, so uh, this is a very serious situation, and uh, we sh we should see it day by day and. Uh, we cannot say anything yet about what's going to happen at the end of the year. We really have to see how it develops the upcoming time. Last question. Do you think this will influence the album still? Because you said it was already written, maybe lyric-wise, not totally. Do you think it might sneak in the, 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 the theme, what is happening now, it might sneak in the new Epic album? Yeah, the funny thing is that I already wrote about uh, uh, illness and being able to cure ourselves before this all started. So there, there is the theme is already in a song um, because I believe, and it's, uh, it's maybe also good to talk about that uh, because especially now it can be really useful for people. I think that there's so much we can do ourselves about our immune system, so much more than you than most people actually know. And uh, I've also been uh, searching for many information about this topic over the last year of myself. 
And since two years, I'm also doing a lot of Wim Hof uh, metal stuff. Uh, you you probably know him, the Iceman. Uh, from Iceman, the metal. yes. Yeah. 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 And, uh, I, I remember like 10, 12 years ago, people were a bit uh, laughing about him. But he has some really amazing ideas and his following is uh, growing a lot. Uh, he has already more than a million followers, I think, on Instagram. It's becoming huge. And I really think, and it's also scientifically proven, that uh, these cold showers and, and this coldness at the patient training really works with boosting the immune system. And he has also some breathing exercises, which I also do. And I noticed myself since two years, I didn't have the flu anymore. And before that, I, I got the flu three, four times a year, really often. I was really suffering from it all the time. And since I'm doing this, this cold showers and these breathing exercises, I never had the flu again. So I would suggest to people just start doing this cold shower thing. And, and I'm pretty sure that it also works uh, for Corona. Uh, in, in, interesting, my wife has been on a Wim Hof trip three year, four years ago and to Poland because she had alopecia, uh, which yeah. meant that all her hair was gone. And she also yeah. has done many training and indeed it helped. Indeed yeah, it helped. cool. Yeah. Yeah. So many examples already for people, they say that it really helps. And especially now with this Corona thing going on, it can help so many more people. So uh, I, I would say to everybody, if you're interested in it, look it up, Wim Hof Method. Give it a try. It's terrible cold showers in the beginning, but after a while, you step into it with a smile. <laughs> That's good. It's a nice ending, Mark. <laughs>